So not every idea is a good one. And having a bad idea, you shouldn't worry about that. Just have a bad idea. I actually think ideas are cheap. You can spin out ideas all day long. In discussions with students or colleagues, you know, you can toss out ideas. And that's one of the best things about bantering among scientists. Like, you throw out an idea and people tell you what a ridiculous, stupid thing that was to say. Or sometimes they look at you like, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Sometimes that means it's a bad idea. Sometimes it means it's a really good idea and you should pursue it. And then it's a question of just puzzling it out, seeing whether it makes sense, seeing whether anybody else has ever heard of it, and then dropping it if it really doesn't turn out to be a very, a very good idea at all. The point is not to constantly have only good ideas. The point is to, to have a variety of different ideas and be curious. Science is a, is a, is a process of hypothesis testing. Hypothesis is an idea. One of the tricks about doing science, particularly when you're growing up as sort of a graduate student or undergraduate, is you want to test a hypothesis so that no matter what the answer, it's still interesting. If your hypothesis is only interesting if it's true, um, then if it's false, you've kind of gone nowhere. It's better if your hypothesis is interesting no matter which, which way it turns out. And so ideas are, are, are what is to science like clay is to, is to pottery. And it's how you take those ideas and mold them uh, that really makes a difference. Caught in the young dato under the top, and I know just where I go, I know just where I stand, I know I'm losing.